Greetings and salutations, this is Invisible here with you the founder of Invisible's gaming channel striking at your hearts from the dark side of the moon. I decided not to upload any videos today, in fear you'd think it's a stupid April fool. Even though I stated too many times to my liking that I never play this trash for a joke. Instead of that I'd rather inform you about a certain topic. What is it with Invisible and the obsession with magic and medieval culture? Throughout my life as a gamer I played all kinds of games, online and offline, I played all the classes no exceptions, trying to find my path, first was with Masked Games Crash Bandicoot, Spyro and whatnot, after playing RTS real-time strategy, I began loving more and more the designs of the old ages, I believe that it was the first time I ever played runes. Cape Online that my interest was captured. At first I specialized as your default swordsman, then I tried archery, then I tried playing as a healer and then as an assassin, the game was very flexible about how you role play, finally found myself playing as a mage. I loved ranged combat, I loved the visual effects, and enjoyed buffs and debuffs. Not long afterwards I reached level cap, and the game demanded I started paying, thus I quit it. I tried playing Silk Road too big and too vague, after playing it for one month I quit it, I tried playing Age of Washu, too many choices, my brain farted so hard I quit, the game's world is too big, and it tried too hard to simulate real life, yes you can be anything you want literally. But that also paralyzes your brain with a tidal wave of options. I tried later playing, Fiesta, Jade Dynasty, Florentia, Blade and Soul, Grand Fantasia, Terra Online, Scarlet Blade, Cosmic Break, Fly for Fun, the last game I planned to play was Perea Chronicles, the game that was opened closed beta in Motherland China and later cancelled, I also played Sky Children of Light, so through playing online games for over 9 years, jumping from one to another, what did I learn? 1. I love ranged combat. 2. I hated CQC close quarters combat. 3. Among the classes of ranged combat I preferred archers, mages, and healers. 4. I started preferring magic and its visual effects and devastating power over other classes. 5. Healers are always insulted, archers are always insulted, you can't please anyone no matter what you do. 6. No one wants to invite PvE mages exclusively. 7. My guildmates and my friends list are always offliners. 8. Finally the last straw broke. And I moved to Grand Fantasia. Where for the first time ever I played as a necromancer. 9. The ability to endlessly summon puppets and crowd control are very much fun. 10. Obviously some disgusting drama happened and I quit it. While playing single player games exclusively. I discovered my love and leaning towards the magic class, elemental. Powers crowd control, and summoning minions, instead of begging for. Party non-stop in online gaming. I can have permanent party forever, and the more I witnessed the power of pure natural manipulation, I was simply captivated, and I no longer cared too much for the other classes. Swordsmen are for tanking and party support, archers and paladins are for support and backline management, as for necromancers their role is additional combat support. Or so it should be, but all online gamers are either PvP players or meta players. There's absolutely no balance. Everyone focuses on a single class job and a single play style, thus the variety is literally non-existent, and everyone became copy-paste. Clone of everyone else. There's no more I play this class because I like it. It became you must play this class and this specific style because it's the most mini-max meta gaming. And so, gaming is no longer about having fun role-playing and exploring the game's world, rather it's all about math. And with math your life's time sink turns into a black hole. So when I finally decided to be a single player gamer exclusively. I just carried with me the themes I loved the most. Third person camera, swordplay, magic, summoning, linear or open world, doesn't matter. No more begging for party, no more feeling humiliated, no more being cursed at left and right, no more blame game. I hate multiplayer games completely. Players only talk about run and gun kill and be killed, battle royal, multiplayer modes, just want to keep buying more and more games, to repeat the same exact setup non-stop, bring your so-called friends to kill them and them to kill you, it's all guns and bombs, assassinations and screams, make it be FPS or war setup, or blade and sword play, high tech setup, cyberpunk theme, and so on. 
Why must gaming be multiplayer exclusively? But that's a topic for another day. Almost turned this entire setup into a rant. Sorry. Thanks for listening.